Hello and welcome to a day in the life of not being a PhD student. If you're new here, I used to do my PhD, but I then quit to pursue my passion of physics and machine learning. And this is what my life currently looks like. So my days look pretty similar. I wake up and I get some sunlight because Andrew Huberman told me to. I then proceed to have some coffee and this really weird breakfast that people love to comment on. I still bike to the university, which is maybe a bit sad, but the Wi-Fi connection is amazing and I can still meet all of my friends, so... And I usually sit in the library to do my daily work where it's nice and quiet without too many distractions. I like sitting in the corner where no one can see. So last week I had like a screening interview for this data scientist consultant and it went really well. The recruiter liked me so he sent forward my CV and my motivational letter and they liked my skills but unfortunately they are looking for someone who is completely fluent in Dutch and my Dutch is kind of intermediate. It was annoying being a good candidate but not getting the job because of the language but at the same time I'm not gonna learn Dutch. Mm, but this week I will try and be a bit better at making applications and applying for this data quality assurance consultant job. I'll also try and reach out to this faculty member if he has any PhD positions now or in the future and I also hope to maybe meet him in person and discuss a bit so fingers crossed. I'm also meeting someone to discuss this research product that I want to do. I then spend the morning writing applications, looking for opportunities, maybe coding a bit and I do this for a few hours before meeting up with my friends for lunch. And I still buy lunch at the canteen because I still haven't realized that I don't have a stable income anymore. I also like to have a snack when I'm watching my online machine learning Coursera course by Andrew. This week is too busy. I have a meeting about a research project, meeting about the science communication project that I'm hosting. I have to do an assessment test. I have to make a few more applications with deadlines. In the weekend I'm going to a dinner with some former group members. I'm going to a concert and I also have a meeting on Saturday about my resume. <laughs> um, yeah, who knew that not being a PhD student would be more stressful? <laughs> Let's go! I still take time to read research papers because I find them interesting and I watch educational videos because once a physicist, always a physicist. I've learned how important it is to take care of myself physically and mentally, so I still make time to go to the gym, eat a lot of fruit, and just yesterday I went to this really cozy vintage style cinema with a friend. And these moments keep me grounded and give me energy to keep pushing forward. Being unemployed doesn't mean being idle. As you can see, I'm keeping busy, working hard to improve myself and my situation. These past few months have been incredibly tough, but honestly, they've also been some of the most transformative months in my life. Struggling has forced me to take a hard look at who I am and what I want, and I've learned to manage my time better, nurture my relationships, and focus on developing the skills that truly matter to me. In a way, I am grateful that this is happening early in my career. It's given me the tools to handle uncertainty and the courage to take risks. Now I know that I can face challenges without fear and come out stronger. I don't know where this current road I'm on will take me. And my situation is not something that I could have ever imagined. There are moments when I feel sad, insecure and overwhelmed. But for all of this, I'm taking away a lot of life lessons. I've learned to lean on the people in my life, to trust in my abilities and to hold on to this vision that keeps me going. I don't have all the answers yet, but I do have this deep belief that this journey and this struggle will lead me to something better. And if you're watching this and you're going through something similar, know that it's okay to feel a bit lost. Sometimes that's exactly where we need to be to find our way.